Right, and that happened uh, not too long ago, so those new ministers are already in place less than 24 hours after the cabinet reshuffle. Now, the National Assembly, meanwhile, has passed a motion on land expropriation without compensation tabled by the EFF. The process will now be taken to the Constitutional Review Committee as part of looking at possible amending uh, the possible amendment of Section 25 of the Constitution. The motion received the majority support of the House. EFF leader Julius Malema says the provisions of the Constitution allow for amendments to be made in order to address the issue of land. The legal process to expropriate has now been put in motion. 241 members voted for the motion, while 83 voted against it. It will now be referred to Parliament's Constitutional Review Committee to process the amendments and also review Section 25 of the Constitution, which deals with the expropriation of land. The EFF and the ANC were joined by several minority parties in passing the motion and effectively started the emotive process of expropriating land without compensation. We must ensure that we restore the dignity of our people without compensating the criminals who stole our land. Those who continue to protect these crimes are themselves accused of crime because those who protect crime are criminals themselves. This will be implemented in a way that increases agricultural production, improves food security, and ensure that land is returned to those from whom it was taken. The ANC, the National Freedom Party, the EFF and the IFP are all in agreement we must expropriate. So what is the delay? There's no need for a debate. Let's go forward. Let's go out there and expropriate. Today, the descendants of those brutal land dispossessors sit here in suits and ties and want to pontificate to us. What nerve, what arrogance. I urge the ruling party to develop a backbone of steel and stop speaking with fork tongues. The issue of land has been with the ruling party since the dawn of democracy. However, they have done nothing so far. But the DA, COPE, FF Plus and the ACDP tried hard to push back. They argued strongly against the amendment of the constitution and that the motion might result in unintended consequences. The fact is this expropriation without compensation is a blatant lie. It is a lie being peddled by a desperate ANC that fears being outflanked by the EFF. The narrative that the land was stolen must stop because it's false. I agree. If we want to debate on a responsible manner about land, we will have to stop that. The danger that there are those who think that equality in our time means that we must dominate whites. Honorable members, two wrongs do not make a right. The fact that the apartheid government forcefully dispossessed black people of their land does not justify the democratic government repeating the same evil. Expropriation of land without compensation has historically destabilized economies as it destroys investor confidence and scares foreign investors. It's not clear how long the process of amending the constitution and the actual implementation of expropriation will take, but those parties who support the idea urge the ruling party to move as speedily as possible. Manilis, Tubase, SBC News, Parliament.